So you're going to maybe have some protests Yeah, well, apparently they've been... Um, Why they, can't they just be like, let's be open-minded. Like, you have a different take on this, and that maybe that's okay. Because you're not telling anyone how to no. live their life. All, all I'm going to do is tell my story. Apparently, uh, people have been tearing down the flyers on campus. Nice. It's always a good sign. Yeah. So the police are going to be there in, in case some people... So I'm excited. That's great. It's like, dude. see what happens. Because usually I talk to very, uh, very friendly crowds, and... Yeah. and uh, I like a little bit of a challenge, yep. and, but I do hope that if people are there, we can actually have a conversation. Did I tell you that a um, prostitute stripper got up at my talk the other day? No. Did you not know this? I did not. Yet. Let's hear about I was the giving, prostitute stripper yeah. at your talk. Yeah. I was giving a talk in Baltimore in the Basilica, mm -hmm. and um, it's a beautiful place, and I was, gave my basic talk, just like you were saying. I, I didn't expect anyone to be there who disagreed with me. Mm -hmm. I usually give talks to very friendly audiences. Mm -hmm. uh, not always, because I speak on university campuses as well. Mm -hmm. At the end of the talk, Q&A. And I was going around answering people's questions. And there was one lady in the back who had her hand up, and um, she was pretty eager to have her question answered. So I said, well, let's, can we just do one more? And we got around to her. And she stood up, and she was actually quite polite. Like, great. I thought she was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And she very calmly said, I'm a sex worker, stripper, prostitute, and... I think you should rethink some things. And then she sort of made her argument. Now, what made things really awkward was just as she was launching into her argument, this man behind her, my age, stood up, pointed at her, and shouted at her. Oh. He said, how dare you? It was so awkward. Oh, that, well, and you know, how <coughs> sad that happened in a basilica yeah. where there is Jesus present mm -hmm. because Jesus himself would have never done that. No. He would, would have, have sat down and said, with prostitutes. Tell right? me your story. Yeah. Tell so me your I story. said, you know, because you're on the spot. I mean, so now it's like, okay, don't I have someone, not only is there someone challenging me in public and I've got to come up with an answer to this, there's someone else shouting at this woman. So I, I got the phone and I said, hey, cut that out. Let her speak. Go for a walk. So, Good for you. Yeah, the wife took him out and she, and I said, I'm so sorry. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry. Someone shouted at you. It's yes. probably not what you were hoping for. And she kind of laid out her case and, um, one of the things she kept saying was, like, I'm happy, you know, and you have to understand mm. that people in the sex industry, we're not like these kind of demonic people who want children to see porn and things like that. Yeah. And um, so my basic answer was, like, you know, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having the courage to be here because it mustn't be that comfortable sitting yeah, with a right. bunch of people who probably disagree with your life choices. Um, and, you know, I, one of the things I said, though, was I said, I, I think you're wrong to be happy. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Like we can, we can make decisions and feel empowered by those mm -hmm. decisions and be wrong too. Yeah. Like people who are self-declared racists or part mm -hmm. of different groups that mm -hmm. associate themselves with racism, I imagine find their work empowering and you'd be like, you're, you're an idiot. Yeah. I'm not saying she's an idiot, but right, you, right. you know, you, or, or let's say you've got a friend who's a female maybe and she's dating this dude and all of her friends realize that he's not good for her. Like, mm -hmm. you're just less mm -hmm. yourself when you're around him, you know? Mm -hmm. And she says, but I'm happy. I'm in love. And you could see being like, well, then you're, you're wrong to be happy. You're yeah. in this, you know. So I said that, which is, of course, and she, she was interrupting. And I said, well, look, I'll let you have the last say. Mm. Now, when someone says that and they don't let you have the last say, that really pisses me off. Yeah. So, like, on Catholic radio, someone will be like, and I'll, I'll let you have the, the, they don't do this, I guess, but I'll let you have the last <laughs> right. say, right? Yeah. And then they say, and like, okay, well, thank you, and here's why you're wrong, and then they go to an ex-caller. Yeah. I was like, no, no, I'm not going to do that, so I'll let you have the last say. And she, so she said her piece. Mm. None of it was kind of new. I didn't feel like it challenged anyone or let anyone into error. So I just went, okay, well, thank you for being here. And that was it. Mm. So that's the story of how I was challenged by a stripper.